This is the ASMR Nerd, and today I'm going to be playing Hollow Knight. I have never played Hollow Knight before, and I am very much looking forward to trying it out because I've heard nothing but excellent, uh, superb about it. Uh, Hollow Knight is June's indie box game, and uh, for those of you who may not know what indie box is, it's a um, subscription box service that every month picks uh, an exceptional indie game um, to create a collector's edition box for, and they work closely with the developers of that indie game to create um, a lavish collector's edition with all kinds of uh, items and, and art and a soundtrack and all that, and they mail that out to their subscribers. And so uh, I actually haven't yet received still in the mail on its way to me, and when I receive it, I will of course do an unboxing for you guys, which I am very much looking forward to, but one cool aspect of IndieBox is that when your box ships, they send you a confirmation email with a tracking, you know, shipping tracking, but also a Steam actually play the game before you receive your physical box. And that's what I'm doing here, because I anticipate that I'll be receiving the game soon, or the box soon, I should say. Um, and I thought it would be fun to play the game a little bit here, get to know it a bit, uh, and you guys can see it and have some context uh, to the items that we see when we unbox the physical collector's edition. So, <laughs> that is my somewhat long-winded explanation for why we are playing Hollow Knight today. Now, uh, it's my understanding that Hollow Knight is a Metroidvania type game, um, and that it is uh, a hand-drawn, uh, stylized, spooky dark aesthetic. Um, I've seen the screenshots, a little bit of gameplay, and I've uh, read, like I said, nothing but excellent things about it, so going in more or less blind otherwise, uh, let's check out Hollow Knight. Here we go. <laughs> no, <laughs> sorry. That's so funny start the game, not quit the game. Um, that's hilarious, actually, because I've been playing uh, my Nintendo Switch a lot lately, and the A and B buttons, of course, on the Switch are reversed from what they are on the Xbox 360 controller, and that drives me nuts anyway, so I went to go press A, I press B.
So, uh, in Hollow Knight, we are playing through a, a world of insects, I believe. Um, a spooky underground world of insects. Very interesting. That's a bad start. <laughs> so our health is in the upper left there. Uh, looks like we've got a critter down below. Oh, okay, sure. Might as well fight him, I guess. Gather whatever it is that he drops. Can we attack this? Oh, we can. So these are like coins, I guess. Some kind of currency. Which makes me think, actually, we should uh, go back. Uh, attack that first one we saw. I'm the kind of guy that just can't let that go. It probably makes no difference in the long run, but... May as well, right? Wow, look at all those coins. 15 old coins. Or whatever they are. They make a coin-like sound. So, something that this game does that I'm noticing is the longer you hold down the jump button for, the further you jump, so you have very precise control over your jump distance, uh, which is nice. Um, you also have a fair amount of air control in terms of what direction you're falling. Also good. Uh, the controls feel quite tight so far. Attack is nice and snappy too. So, <laughs> although apparently I'm incompetent. There we go. Oh, that's a little scary. What is that? Inspect. Okay. What's happening here? Higher beings. These words are for you alone. Strength marks you among us. Focus your soul, and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. Collect a soul by striking enemies. Once enough soul is collected, hold B to focus soul and heal. Okay, so it looks like uh, we've got a, a mechanic that allows us to heal by attacking, essentially, or by gaining a resource. While attacking, um, which is cool. This is sort of like a offense is the best defense sort of situation. Uh, hold B to focus. Okay. Oh, I see. So it uses up some of my focus that I've gained there to heal me. This looks dangerous. Let's see if there's anything worthwhile. First, shall we? Uh, I don't know if there's fall damage in this game. I don't think there is, but I don't know. It doesn't feel like there is so far. This is interesting looking and maybe a little worrisome, I don't know. Thing hanging from the ceiling. Now take a moment here and look at this gorgeous art. 
isn't it lovely? I can absolutely see why the indie box guys would certainly, at least from an aesthetic perspective, uh, pick this game for their one of their collector's editions. Should we give this a shot, do you think? Yeah, of course we should. Oops. Oh, that's not so good. So what is that temporary extra life? Maybe it's shields. It looks kind of like shields to me. Don't you think? I think that's probably what that is. Um, sort of a temporary health buffer. Oh, okay. Gee, lots of stuff is kind of smashable here, isn't it? Oh my goodness. enough or alert enough. Okay. Oh, goodness. That's not very safe. Now this. What's all this? Um, I don't know if we can make that jump. That's a pretty long jump. But I don't think they'd put it there if we couldn't make it. test it out. No way. <laughs> All right. That's fine. We can leave that for now. Oh, I see. Now we can get back up here. Oh, and we have the opportunity. Maybe. Uh, no, that doesn't look safe. No. No, I don't think we want to risk that. We'll just carry on our These words are for you alone. Beyond this point, you enter the land of King and Creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the Eternal Kingdom. Hello, Nest. Sounds good to me. Oh, a mighty door. Just shining through as we hit it. <laughs> I guess we just have to drop and here we are. What beautiful artwork, huh? I love this environmental work. Just the palette and the of the the image sort of different parallaxing layers I like how uh, the lights have their own little bugs little moths or flies around them dirt mouth the fading down how is this Oh, there, traveler. I'm afraid there's only me left. 
left to offer welcome. Our town's full and quiet, you see. The other residents, they've all disappeared, headed down that well one by one into the caverns below. Used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin, yet it still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment, that darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you too seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad, and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things, after all. warning from the elder bug. Many used to come, hoping the kingdom would fulfill their desires. Hallownest, it was once called. Supposedly the greatest kingdom there ever was, full of treasures and secrets. <laughs> now it's nothing more than a poisonous tomb full of monsters and madness. Everything fades eventually, I suppose. rest to do for us. Perhaps it heals us up, I don't know. What's this? For all your mapping supplies, we will be opening soon. Isilda and Cornifer. Ah, very good. Well, I don't see much else to do here, so let's carry on. Roads. This is so lovely. Look at this. I love the idea, the concept of this underground kingdom of bugs. It's this like, and the way it's presented, it just, it's all really, really lovely. Uh, so naturally, I just come here and break everything. Uh, what do you think about this little thing? This caterpillar sounds very sad. Do I have any way of interacting with him? Well, it doesn't look like it. Excuse me, Mr. Caterpillar. Can I help you? It doesn't appear so. Well, that's too bad. I guess we'll have to come back another time. So, it's good to know enemies respawn. <laughs> okay, those guys don't seem to attack me. Or maybe they do, I don't know. No, no they don't. I'll wait for this little guy to come around. Did they drop coins though? I don't recall.
I guess it gives us that uh, soul as well, which is good. Oh, this is beautiful. The Pilgrim's Way, the Travelers of Hallow's Nest, or Hallow Nest, descend through verdant wilds and fungal groves to the city at this kingdom's heart. There all wishes shall be granted, all truths revealed. That sounds a little bit too good to be true, doesn't it? Oh, that does not look just purchasing a compass for my wife, Iselda. So this must be one of the owners of that uh, little hut we saw, topside, which looks like it will become a shop open to us eventually. Oh, there you go. She's just now opening our new map shop in Dirtmouth, selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like yourself. She'll even sell some of my old maps from time to time. I pop back to see her whenever I finish mapping an area. She's always so excited to see me. Oh, that's nice. I'm glad they have a good relationship, Sky and his wife. Oh, by the way, I haven't introduced myself, have I? Yes, I should apologize for that. When you spend a lot of time by yourself with just your own thoughts, you forget the niceties of conversation. My name is Cornifer, and I've always loved exploring the world. Why, when I was first hatched, I wandered off immediately, leaving my brothers and sisters and poor mother behind. That's why, as soon as I could, I moved to Dirtmouth with my wife, a huge, unending kingdom to explore right on our doorstep. Who could resist? Anyway, I'll let you return to your travels. With a little luck, be safe and farewell. A well, cornifer seems like a, a really decent dude. I like him. So let's take a look at this map, shall we? Uh -huh. Okay, so if this is to be believed, uh, I think we're probably where that little cornifer icon is in the bottom left. Or thereabouts, anyway. So, uh... Oh, I did not mean to do that. Well, how are you finding my map? I've tried to fill out as much as I can, but every map is a work in progress. If you'd like to fill out some of the map yourself, you can purchase... 
purchased some napping supplies for my wife up in Dirtmouth. We've set up a little shop, a uh, little store to help make ends meet. Indeed, you have. Okay, well, uh, shall we go down? Uh, I don't really know, uh, like I said, where we're going or, or what we're looking for. Oh, that's a lot of spikes. Um, but we'll just keep looking till we find something. Oh, shoot. That was close. What is this? It looks uh, aggro. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I didn't want to attack something that was friendly, but it, uh, it's definitely not friendly. Oh, this doesn't look safe. Can't attack it, okay. I have to time my jump. Uh, do you think we can jump back? So close. One more time. Oops. Oh, that was close. Uh, I don't think we can quite make that jump right now. Not with our, our current level of ability. These caverns are dark and mysterious. saw this. Oh, uh, now. I bet that has something to do with that crying worm that we saw earlier. It looks like we rescued a little grub, and I wonder if that grub belongs to the crying grub or worm that we saw up top. Uh, if we travel back up there, maybe we'll see. Uh, although, getting back there is... so slightly. I should probably be using the D-pad here as opposed to the left stick for movement, but I've always found the D-pad on the Xbox 360 controller really unsatisfying. Other 
such things I've missed. It's, uh, looks like this does connect up with, with something. So maybe by finding that we managed to avoid all of that. I don't know if we have a reason to go down there, but let's carry on. sort of contemplative, emotional music. I like it a lot. I'm really glad that the indie box comes with a soundtrack. Because I could see that soundtrack uh, becoming something that I listen to with some regularity. Or at least when I'm in that kind of melancholy mood. This is some kind of a possible situation. This will just keep going deeper and deeper. Oh, I forgot respawning enemies. Which is a bit of a shame. Um, I'm wondering if we should head back up topside and see about that compass or perhaps some of uh, that other equipment that Cornifer mentioned his wife might be selling. And also, I'm kind of curious to go see if that grub that was crying earlier is uh, pleased about us finding that little grub earlier. They, sh they certainly don't make it easy to uh, get back up there though, do they? I wonder if there might be a quick travel system at some point. Because uh, right now uh, we're going to have to jump all the way back up. so bad. It's, it's mostly just kind of annoying to have all these little bugs around, which could in theory uh, damage us if we were to touch them. Now, whereabouts was that? Seven, eight, 
Come to buy a map, have you? It's really my husband you should be dealing with, but what a surprise. He's headed down below. <laughs> uh, maybe their marriage is not quite as content as it seemed. <laughs> He'll pop back up occasionally to deliver new maps for the store, but I do wish he'd spend a little more time up here. I have not much interest in retail myself. Who does? Let's see what's here for me to sell. Okay. A wayward compass. Notch cost. I don't know what a notch cost is. Highly recommended. If you're having trouble finding your way in the maze of ruins below us, try this charm. It will pinpoint your location on your map. Incredibly helpful for finding your bearings in unfamiliar locations. Yes, I imagine so. I think that's probably something that we want to acquire. Although we can't quite afford it yet. The quell, which will update the map as we explore. A bench bin. Uh, to mark the benches, which are the rest spots. Useful if you're exhausted and just need to find somewhere to sit. I'm not quite clear if those are the save points or if those are uh, healing points. A cocoon bin. Have you seen those beautiful blue cocoons? Yeah, we saw one, I think, earlier, didn't we? The cocoons are delicate. Uh, are pretty, but very delicate. Please be careful around them. I assume that she's talking about that thing that was hanging from the roof that we destroyed a while back, but maybe not. I can't remember if that was blue or not. Might have just been white. The vendor bin. Use them to mark shopkeepers. Yeah. And last day, hot spring bin. I haven't visited any myself. I wonder if Cornifer might take me some time. I'm sure you'd make better use of these bins till then. Um, I'm not sure if that was a hot spring that we found earlier. There was a bench next to it. I think that's what that was. And again, I don't know if that's a, a healing spot or what it is, but I suppose we'll find out. Now the quill sounds very useful, but the compass sounds perhaps more useful yet, so maybe we better save up for that compass. We're not that far off after all. I don't know what that notch cost means. soundtrack, the piano and the violins. This does remind me a fair bit, or at least somewhat, of you, which I played earlier, um, a while back actually. I have a video playing that. That was a, a previous indie box that I 
boxed. Um, I mean, obviously there's a lot of differences. Hue is not a combat-based game. It's more of a puzzle-based game, but uh, the, the, um, the dark aesthetic um, and obviously the side-scrolling nature, something about it, and the soundtrack for that matter, the, the strings and piano and the melancholy, they're all quite familiar or similar. Is this? This is a intimidating looking building. Let's step on in. Temple of the Black Egg. That sounds a little bit imposing. Well, let's talk to this guy though and find out what's up. Hello there. How delightful to meet another traveler on these forgotten roads. You're a short one, but you've a strong look about you. I'm Quirrell. I have something of an obsession with uncharted places. This ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries, and one of the most intriguing of them is standing right before us. A great stone egg lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom. And this egg, is it warm? It certainly gives off a unique air. Can it be opened? There are strange marks all over it. I'll uh, interject here to point out that this is something we saw in the introductory video, I believe. This egg thing. I do so love a mystery, and who knows what other marvels lie even deeper below us. For so long I felt drawn here, so many tales full of wonders and horrors. No longer could I resist, I just had to see it for myself. And what a time I choose to arrive, this dead world has sprung to life. The creatures are riled up and the earth rumbles, the air is thick, I wonder what could have brought it all about. Interesting. So we're presented with a mystery, which we will no, uh, no doubt uncover as we carry on. I like the dialogue. It's well written. It's interesting. To preserve in this, or persevere in this ruin, that old nail alone won't be, uh, <laughs> the old nail alone just won't be enough. Though that's no problem, one only has to look around. Plenty have come before us, and most have met their grisly end. Many more equipped than you and I. I'm sure they wouldn't mind were a fellow explorer to relieve them of their tools. It's a kindness, really. The dead shouldn't be burdened with such things. <laughs> so I suppose we'll find some more items, weapons, around as we play. These guys are pretty simple, they just kind of charge at you. Oh, that looks a little more painful. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> ah. <laughs> wow, I'm bad. Apparently. Uh, I guess this. those things, which is nice. Usually. Anyway. Oh, he does not look friendly. Oh, dear. Do, do you think we can damage him? I don't, I don't think he's worth fighting right now. <laughs> I think that is somewhere for another time. It's trying to tell us. Oh, what's all this? Oh, I'm being very reckless. 
this way or not, but I feel like it, it will have to phew, eventually connect with somewhere we've been, because we sort of, oh hey look, it's a grub, making cute grub noises. So the only thing I'm not certain about is that notch cost that's listed. So let's let's see what that's all about. Oh, right, I press up to turn. Far for nada. Okay, let's uh, purchase this item. Yes, please. Item purchased.
this is an overworld map, I expect. We're currently in Dirtmouth, and the area we've been roaming in is the Forgotten Crossroads. These are two of what I'm sure is many areas. Ah, and now we can see where we are on the map because we have that compass, and we can see the stylized kind of outline of where we've been. See the temple of the black egg there. And uh, some kind of spooky looking room down below that. I don't think we went there. Very interesting. Okay, well, uh, I think that this would be an excellent place for us to. next time.